Hello everybody. I would like to talk to you about tools for individual innovation. So how do you as an individual person when nobody's around, what type of uh, tools could you use to innovate? Uh, the first idea which I would like to give you is that be always prepared. So seize the moment. Keep a notebook or a camera to uh, take a picture or take a note. Uh, quite often you will find that you are uh, in a situation which is basically you're, in, uh, you're under pressure. You might be running out of time. Uh, you need to decide or innovate quickly. Many people would, ju would uh, just rush into doing something but one of the skills is that you, even though when under pressure, you stop and pause for a moment, think how you would innovate in this situation, and start a very, very short innovation process. So spending even 15 seconds to uh, do quick brain brainstorming might help you to find a better solution. Uh, innovators, what they do, and this is from a book by Andrew Hargoden, you can see it on the left of the screen, uh, the book title is How Breakthroughs Happen, Andrew Hargoden uh, emphasizes that an uh, innovator should collect people, ideas, and objects. So focus on what fascinates you, collect into your network people that interest you, ideas which you find fascinating, and even objects or articles or physical things which fascinate you. So at the end of the day you will find yourself uh, with a big uh, box full of toys, full of things that for some reason interests your mind. Uh, when collecting people in a sense, you are building your own personal networks. Uh, in the book by Franz uh, Johansson, The Medici Effect, uh, he emphasizes the value of networks, and I would also like to do the same. Be very, very aware of what your networks are like. On the left on this, uh, this slide, you can see uh, how I started off with the uh, LinkedIn network, on the right, you can see my personal face, uh, Facebook network, network and uh, a uh, diagram taken from Facebook showing, uh, showing what my network is like. I encourage you to uh, work with your networks and be very aware of what your personal networks look, look like. Uh, both of these books, uh, the Innovator's Toolkit on the right and the Innovator's Guide to Growth, uh, they emphasize as one technique, one skill, that you focus on the uh, tasks and jobs that people are trying to do. So the art of observing what people are trying to do is very, very important, and when people are spending, individuals are spending time in trying uh, to get something done, that is uh, what you should observe and then you should think that if they're spending one hour in doing a particular job, how could you make this task more easier for them? So focus on jobs people are trying to do. Uh, when you have got, uh, done a lot of observations, you can then start scoring these jobs people are trying to do. And this is one example taken from the book, The Innovator's Guide to Growth. You basically rank them and score them according to importance, frequency of use, how frustrated people get when trying to do the, uh, the job, and by looking at the score, each individual job gets, you can find uh, which job is the most important and hence try and solve the first job, the most important job, and create a new innovation 
which does this particular job more easily. Uh, one area where you can go to find new ideas is taboos. This is a book written by Alf Rehn. The title here is, is in Finnish and this translates into English as dangerous ideas. Uh, the basic logic here is that taboos are things people do not talk about. Uh, they are left untouched. And if you dare go into areas which are taboos, you will probably find uh, some, maybe many, new perspective, new ideas which you can work on and then build a solution. So the basic idea is that nobody talks about taboos, nobody goes into the uh, taboo area to find new innovations, so if you want to create a new idea, touch on taboos and quite likely you might find something very, very interesting, you might find new ideas. Uh, I was first introduced to metaphors and the uh, Art of Associating by, by Gareth Morgan, and uh, this is a picture of his book, Images of Organization. Uh, one art uh, to create new ideas is the art of associating. So each single picture which I have here creates in my mind one particular association. I have used these pictures at some stage uh, to create new ideas and new po uh, possibly new business ideas. Uh, when you look at these pictures, you don't have the same associations which I have, but maybe when you look at these pictures, you have different associations. So the art is really in sharing the associations we have with pictures or phrases and using these associations uh, to uh, innovate with. From metaphors and associating we go to storytelling. Uh, the pictures on the uh, bottom left is one particular story which I tell on different occasions which I used for uh, innovating but the basic idea with storytelling is that you're sitting at a campfire, you're telling stories, these stories uh, stick into your mind they start fascinating your mind and sometimes you work with these fascinations, with these problems and once you start working on what fascinates you, you will end up with, uh, with in possibly in the interesting innovations. From storytelling you can go to sleeping and humor. Uh, many innovators, they actually take the problem to bed with them. During the night, uh, the unconscious mind will work on the problem and the next day, if you're lucky, you will come up with very, very interesting ideas. Never take a problem which needs to be solved the next morning to bed with you. Take problems which don't have to be solved, but maybe your mind will do the work during your sleep the unconscious mind will help you discover new ideas. Uh, relatively close to, uh, to sleeping is also the art of humor. Use humor to find new perspectives uh, and hence find new ideas. Well, now you have a set of uh, tools, if you like, which you can use to innovate with but a true innovator he balances in my opinion between three different roles and these three different roles are very very different kinds of disciplines first you have the role of the researcher the researcher is always very very disciplined if you like the researcher is correcting mistakes the inventor the innovator if you like is jumping to conclusion so you have to be both a bit of a researcher and a bit of a innovator and be skilled in using both of these skills. And then the third skill 
which you need to uh, master is experimentation. Always go out there, try to imp uh, do an experiment, try to do a build a prototype, and have a look at what happens. So try and combine these three skills, the researcher, the innovator, and the experimenter. Thank you.